Okay, so. I don't think I'm hardwired to do anything. Search it for Wi-Fi networks. Okay, simplify Wi-Fi. It's that hug, what is it, hug bear? Um, capital P, bear hugger. Bear hugger. Awesome. Okay. Now we're going through the process of accepting all the grievances, saying like they're going to send you updates, advertisements, etc., etc. Okay. What just happened? Oh, updates. All right, latest software. Do you have a Samsung? <coughs> do you have a Samsung account at all? Yeah. You do. I do. Do you know your email address and all that? Let me see. Okay, Mike. You can sign in with your mobile, well, with your phone. I think it's gonna send you a barcode. Let me see. Yeah, it's gonna send you the scan code. Okay. It's former. Yeah, former Marine. Former Marine at Gmail. At Gmail. That was lost the dot. I thought it was a comma. Password is 
is capital M and capital B. Okay, it's going to send you a verification code. You ready? Yeah, once I email that. Well, it's going to the telephone number. Oh. Tell me what that code is. You'll need to research your password. You want to do it later or you want to do it now? No, I'll do it later. All right, cool. Bruce found you. Okay. So the cool part about this is Samsung has this application called Smart Things or Samsung Smart Things, okay. meaning this is their smart version of electronics. So like. If you have or add or anything through a Samsung device, it has to go through their Samsung operating system, Samsung Smart Things, and you can pair Alexa, Google Assistant, voice activation systems with it. Okay. That's the reason why they do that, because it has to be tailored to whatever the personal use of the name is going to be. Right, okay. Uh, back up. Your data? It's, it's from all your old stuff whenever you had Samsung. That's all that is. I guess. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know it was gonna make me do that. Zip code? I guess. What's the zip code here? Two eight two. One zero. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So if you had any voice activated assistance, mm -hmm. it would amplify not only from the TV, but also from um, your lights, Soundbar, if it is, if if I'm mis if I remember correctly, that also has Alexa or either the Google Assistant built in with it. So you're able to pair it from that device. Say like you speak to your remote, it turns on your TV, your soundbar, and everything oh, else. Okay. So that's how that works. Okay. So we can set that up either now or later, but I still have to go through the songs. But that'll be, I think it's either one of these two. Yeah, I feel like Google Assistant. I think it's the Google Assistant. I'm not sure. But I know it's one of those two. Alright. Links. Um. I'll let you have custom space for okay? So the reason that they show you this is because this is the best that your TV can do. Okay. The absolute best picture, best color, best lighting, best everything that your TV can do. So they show you all that because that is the display that you can see. Now, when I would sell this TV to people because they were looking at it, I would say that these, these TVs themselves are good enough to give you a nauseation feel if you're watching them in real time good motion. So like, Say for instance, you're watching uh, Fast and Furious and you're going through a whole bunch of tunnels or whatever yeah. it may be the case. You can legitimately start to feel some of the nauseation that comes from that. Right, or right. Like that. And so, I don't know if you just saw prior to doing this, but 
the resolution content wasn't all the way up to 1080. It wasn't 4K. It was probably like 720. And okay. then I transitioned over. I don't know if you saw that, but that's kind of what upscaling is. It takes whatever the worst content possible that they can give you and upscale it to make it so that it's better on your television. Okay. Yeah, I can see a little, little yeah. like, fuzziness or whatever. They don't like being separated. They don't need to. Play other bar switches. Have a bar away from the window. Come on. Let's get them loaded. I think this is Samsung TV. Oh, okay. Whoops. I keep going past where I need to go. It's that little home button thing right there. Well, okay, that's not good. You guys have cable too, or no? No cable. No cable? Were you just looking at doing Netflix, Hulu, or were you just trying to use it through the Apple TV? Um, I think, I don't know, because we just, one thing we really wanted to do was, because um, I think we mentioned we wanted to originally get a digital antenna. Mm -hmm. but then, I think, did you say you can probably find local news, like, um, somewhere, like, I don't Absolutely. Know. Like, um, what's there right there? It's just pop right up. So this application right here called YouTube. Mm -hmm. Has a whole news button right here. Oh, gotcha, okay. And if you want to, it updates like every 30 minutes. So there'll be something new there every moment. Um, just saying, like, here's Governor Roy Cooper. Granted, you have to go through some ads. I, right. I don't wanna not tell you that part. You definitely have to go through some ads to watch it all. But you're able to watch all the shows that you need to in order to prepare yourself for whatever local uh, activity could be started with the day. Yeah. Well, we were down to ads anyway with the other we did one time. Okay, I wasn't sure. I was not sure. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining our briefing today. Well, here we are again. As North Carolina prepares for our second winter storm in a week. We're looking at another round of snow, sleet, freezing rain and ice, bringing more treacherous roads and power outages. It is a familiar forecast, but a different place. This time it's the people in eastern North Carolina that will likely feel more of this storm's brunt, while those in the mountains and foothills will see very little, if any. And while we know the forecast has changed in the past few hours, and maybe- What's Charlotte sure considered? Is not like now smack in the middle. <laughs> I don't uh, know what the south end of, like, next to South Carolina, but... It's at the bottom of North Carolina. So, Charlotte is North Carolina, but there's so much of South Carolina that goes into Charlotte. So, like, Greenville goes into Charlotte, Spartanburg goes into Charlotte, yeah. Columbia goes into Charlotte. A lot of those places out of South Carolina go right into Charlotte. So, I guess it's, like, the best safe haven for South Carolinians to go to work as well. Because you can finally get employment in the area. But this gives you all the local channels. And let's just say if you want to watch other news, you have all of these and also live. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So even if you didn't want to watch them in recorded time, you can watch them live. You can also watch whatever uh, news anchor channel you want to. CNN, CBS, Fox, MSNBC. Um, all of them go on these channels. So it's not to say that you won't get local news. Right. But it is to give you the clarity on what you would see if you were watching local news. I watch news a lot anyway. So this is something I love doing. Yeah. But I also know that if I gave you a digital antenna to do this off of, you'd probably be mad at me. And I don't want you to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm just trying to give you the best recommendation on how to go about this if you wanted to. I mean, there are going to be commercial breaks probably of ads, but they're going to be less than what your average commercial break would be. Right, right. Okay. So this is all the local news. If you want to search for anything in particular, you have a search bar up here. Gotcha. So anything you want to look for. And if there was just something you want to browse upon, 
They give you all these options. You, YouTube is limitless. Yeah. So there are a lot of things that you can get from the channel, even if you didn't want to watch this channel or any shows up here, but all of this stuff can be found. American Patriot movie. Somebody put up something. Um, a video game. I think that is uh, Fortnite. So there's a good bit. I just don't want to deter you from saying that you need to have it. Okay, cool. Alright, so now I'm going to mosey on over to. We're going to have to come back to that. The Apple TV. That's actually a really fun game, too. I played that in, um, not in this reclining chair, but in something similar to it with a racing wheel, and it's really good. It's really good. That came with this one right there. I'm thinking it came with an HP and Oh, Or it should have. I got a power cable. One of these pieces oh, okay. goes into the TV. Okay. Install a slate the other day and piece was missing, so I could contact it. I probably should do the Wi-Fi first. Um, actually, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, 
Let's do another option. Let's set up your Wi-Fi first. Okay. So I'm going to have you do.